Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for this swim cord session. You can't get to the pool, I can't get to the pool, but that's okay, because our pool cords are gonna sort us out. Join me for this session where we're gonna work on our swim specific strength so that when we get back in the pool, we're as good as we, as we were before, maybe, who knows, even a little bit stronger. Let's go. Okay everyone, so before you start, you should have jumped over to one of our other warm-up videos and followed one of those so that your shoulders are nice and warmed up. Your lats and your chest, the major muscles uh, involved in the swim movement are ready to work. So if you haven't, jump over to one of those and then come back to this main set. We're gonna work in four different sets through this main set. We're gonna work 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, all the way through, and we're gonna start with the chest fly exercise. So, get ready to go. We're gonna start in five seconds with a chest fly exercise. Get some tension on the band. Ready, off we go. So, just load up an appropriate amount of tension. Good stuff, that's time on our first exercise. The next one is gonna be a bent row. So you're gonna turn around, grab your handles, come down, palms down, pull back to palms up and elbows up and extend out and there we go. So we're gonna learn the routine as we go along. I'm gonna repeat it twice through. So just three seconds left on this one. And then we're gonna turn around again, quick transitions, grab the handles, come forward, hands down, palms forward, backstroke. Ready, off we go. So we're pushing here. Really good one for the chest and the shoulders here. It doesn't look front crawl specific, but it does work, the same muscle group. When we've done this one, we go back to the chest flies. Good stuff, that's time. 10 seconds to recover. So now we do that, those three exercises, twice more. Ready? Off we go. Keep the arms really long. Now the purpose of this session is not to be high intensity specifically, although if you want to make it high intensity, you can just up the resistance and up the reps. What we really want to do here, time, is work on strength. So, looking around, bent row in three, two, one, pull and twist, full extension, pull and twist. Keep that back nice and flat as you move. Squeeze at the back, get the elbows as high as you can there. There. Time, 10 seconds to recover. We're gonna go into the backstroke again, so flip around. Get tension on the band. Ready, off we go. We're gonna work the core here as well. Keeping really tight, keeping the glutes tight, keeping the hips forward. Keep the shoulders low. Shoulder blades sunk low too. Time, 10 seconds. We go through the three exercises again. So we start with our chest flies, load up the band, ready? Off we go. Chest forward, nice strong stance. If you go in this position with your feet, you'll work the core as well. If you want more stability, you can shift the feet to front and back. I like to work the core too. We've got the bent row coming up. Time, 10 seconds to recover and turn around. This session is fast and furious. Ready, go. And if you've not done it before, you don't know what's coming. So we're gonna keep you on your toes as well, but that's, that's good, helps the time to pass. Get loads of tension on the band for this one. 
time. Our last exercise of the round. And we'll be changing it up. So, ready? Three, two, one. Backstroke. So we've got 20 seconds of this one, and that will be us finished with the first round. What we're going to do then is have three sections of 20 seconds on with a front crawl freestyle motion or single arm pull through. So we're going to turn around at this one. After this one, that's time. End of the first set, turn around, get ready for a front crawl motion. So just here. Off we go. If you're more comfortable just doing a single arm, straight arm pull through, then that's absolutely fine. But we want to make it as swim specific, as front crawl specific, sorry, as we possibly can. Get that back nice and flat. Time. Stand up, stretch the back out. We're going to go again twice more and then move on to the second set. Ready? Three, two, one. Get that elbow up at the front, post the hand through the letterbox, reach over the barrel that's inside the letterbox, get the high elbow, push back with the laps. Time. One more of these, and then we're going to change it up. Ready? Three, two, one. Off we go. So, so again, this session doesn't have to be kind of high intensity, so look to make sure the movements are good quality before you up the intensity too much. Time. Oh, good stuff. So keep the same position and we move on to the second set, two exercises, double arm pull through. Ready. Off you go. So same as the front crawl movement that we just did, but both arms together. If you struggle getting that high elbow catch, you can do it with straight arms. That's absolutely fine. Make sure you finish that movement off, pushing strong and long at the back. Time. Our next one are going to be lat pulls. So same position, pulling sideways. Two, one, and pull there. Like we're making big snow angels in the snow. Over here in Edinburgh, we've had loads of snow recently. So I actually did make a snow angel last week. So keep the hand wide and high. Time. Ooh, we did those two exercises three times. So we're back to the double arm pull through. Ready? Three, two, one. Flat back. Off we go. Core wants to be drawn in. Those lower abs. Sucked in, belly button close to the spine. Time. Stand up, stretch the back off, get comfortable. Lat pulls again, ready, bend down. Three, two, one. Pull into the side. Really isolating the lat muscles on this one. Get those hands all the way up and together at the front. Then swing them back and hit your hips at the back. Time. Once more through. Double arm and lat pulls. Ready. Three, two, one. The elbows high if you can. If you're on straight arm, then just keep the arms long. Time. Last exercise of this round. We're going lap pulls again. In three, two, one, go. Obviously, a limited amount of exercises we can do with the pull cords. We can do enough, we can keep the variety pretty high. And there's no end to the different, different structures we can use to get a good session. Last few seconds, and we go back onto the freestyle again. 
That's the end of that set. So now we do three, lots of 20 seconds. Front crawl motion, three, two, one, go. So I'm thinking about it as the set is these four mini sets we're putting together. And in between them, we're doing these front crawl sections. Time, although really I understand that that's eight sets. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Nice and flat. Keep the neck long, chin tucked in just like you would in the pool. Time, one more of those. Then we change it up. Ready? Three, two, one. The last one, we're going to turn around for the next exercise. So you want to reset. Time. So turning around, next exercise, kneeling on the floor, tricep extensions. Ready. And push to there. So hands high. Try and keep the elbows high all the way through this. Don't let them come down in front of you. Keep the elbows roughly in the same place in the air as well. Really isolating the triceps. Time. Now, both hands straight up in the sky. We're gonna alternate straight arm pulls. Ready. Go. Appropriate amount of tension, pushing down. Chest and lap working here, chest at the start, then it sort of switches over to the lap halfway through each of the movements. Alternating arms gives us more of a workout across the core to keep the hips forward. Ah, good stuff, time. Onto the tricep, push throughs again, tricep extensions, ready, go. Good. Tension on the band. When you get into that extended position, just pause it just for a beat. So the triceps really are forced to activate and work. It's going to help you with the back end of your stroke to be able to extend the arms fully. Time. Okay, arms up. Get ready. Draw that core in. Hold and go. Breathing. I do get to do that through some of these movements, especially when I'm talking at the same time. That's time. Okay, once more for each of those. That'll be three times through. Ready? Go. much now. It's starting to hurt a little bit, I'll be honest. Time. Good stuff. See if you can stay in the same place. Don't shuffle backwards. Ready? Ah, off we go. Oh, I could just soft pedal through this, but it would be a very honest way of doing it, would it? So, we've got this one, then we turn it around, We've got our three front crawl or straight arm single arm. Ah, time. Pull through movements. So here we go. Strength to the front crawl. Three, two, one, go. Oh, you can tell those last exercises were fatiguing. That's my technique. It's gone to pot now. And still get that rotation through the hips. 
So pushing through the floor, time. Stand up, stretch the back. Two more. Front crawls. Three, two, one. Go. through the floor, push through the floor, straightening the legs each time, that's time, one more, oh, we've got a nice bit to finish off, three, two, one, go, get that high elbow catch, if the elbow pulls back first like this, that's not what we want to see, get the fingers pressing down, it's the third of three, then we move on to set four, time. The bad news is set four is six. Lots of freestyle. <sighs> Made this up. Three, two, one, go. This is number one. So more freestyle. I said to you at the start, it gets more specific as we go through. So this is the specific bit. Five more. Three, two, one, go. We'll make it more interesting in the second set, but, well, the second time through, I should say. And now get that extension. Let the fingers lead the movement. Time, good. Four more. Three, two, one, go. My fear is that I might have miscounted, but I've said it now, so we'll do four more. And if it's wrong, you'll just have to forgive me. Extend at the back, full extension, full range in the stroke. Time, three more. Oh, you should be feeling that that's working now. If you've forgotten to turn the heating off like me, you should be feeling the warmth. Two, one, go. Time, two more, and then Change it up again. Three, two, one, go. Concentrate on that form. Imagine you're in the water. Hand should be pulling straight line from front to back. Last one, last one coming up. Ready, three, two, one, go. Good stuff. Get ready to turn around at the end of this one because time we're going back to the start, and that start was, as you remember, chest flies. Three, two, one, go. So we're not going through in exactly the same order as we did last time. That will be boring. If you want to do that, go back to the beginning and just follow it through. What we're going to do is just move all the way through three times. Good stuff. So our next exercise is gonna be the rows. So turn around, grab the handles, palms down, bend down, and elbows in, pull back, twist palms. So our next exercise will be the backstroke. And then we'll keep moving through the whole set. So the one after that will be the front crawl. 
time, turn around. Back stroke, so standing up, pushing from here. Ready, go. So last time we repeated these three through three times. This time, we're just gonna run through the set from top to, top to bottom, and then repeat the whole thing a couple of times more. Next exercise will be front crawl. Arms straight and strong, glutes engaged, time. Turn around, back onto front crawl movement again. Ready, two, one. So we did three lots of front crawl in between each set last time. This time, we just do one. Time. Next one is double arm pull through. You can do it with a bent arm or straight. Ready, two, one, go. Really starting to feel that work by now. If you're not, up the reps or up the resistance on the band that you're using. Just two exercises in this round. So the next one's the lat pulls, the end of flies. Ready, three, two, one, go. This will be the end of this mini set. And then you front crawl again. Time. Front crawl. And then we move on to the tricep extensions. Ready. Three, two, one. Get the rotation through the body, keeping the torso just twisting rather than the hips wiggling from side to side. Keep the hip rotation in line with the shoulder rotation. Time. Now we move on to the tricep extension. So we're going to turn around, kneel down. Ready. Go. full extension every time. If you can't get to full extension, just shuffle yourself back towards the anchor point of the pull cord. Time. Okay, hands up, straight above you, core drawn in, ready, alternating arm, go. Get that neck really long, Chin tucked in, but not looking down. Keep the posture good. Oh, pull cord's not making a healthy sound there. Time to turn around. We're back onto front crawl. Ready, three, two, one, go. And you'll remember that the next set is front crawl. Good. So this last set of front crawl we're going to go through twice. So two lots of front crawl, then we go back to the top and the chest flies. Three, two, one, go. If you don't feel like you've got had to work, to this point in the session, then by all means, up the work rate. Time. Okay, one more. Let me go back to the top. Three, two, one, go. Chest flies next, a chance to mix up the position and the muscle group again. Time, 
stand up, turn it around, back to the top, back to the start, chest flies, arms wide, tall posture, core engaged, ready, go. Quick transitions. I told you it was a fast and furious session. Good. Turn around, time, bent over rows. Palms down at the start. Three, two, one. Pull and twist. Get those elbows up. Really squeeze and pinch those lats at the bottom of the movement. Shoulder blades seated deep down in their pockets. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Good, time, turn around, stand up, turn around and back stroke. Ready, three, two, one, go. Keep the arms long, keep the arms next to your hips, rather than moving out to the side, like the angel flies. Time. Turning around. You guessed it. Front roll. Ready. And go. Get the technique before you get the intensity. So, double arm pull through now. Second set, ready. Go. Do straight arm pulls if you want. I think I might vary it up. Do straight arm pulls myself. Not done them to this point, but why not? So I've got a straight arm pull in front of me in the next exercise. Straight arm pull next to me. Time. Stand up. To change position, lat pulls next, ready, bending over in three, two, one, go. This is the most lat dominant exercise, so if you really need to build those lats up, they are such huge drivers in the swim stroke. This is a great exercise to do that even when you can get back in the pool. Time. The end of that second set, so back onto front crawl next in four seconds. Ready? Three, two, one. High elbow catch, push the fingers down, make sure they lead the stroke. If you can do this with a mirror, you get a really good sense of what your stroke is actually doing. Time, turn it around. Tricep extensions. And getting down. Ready. And go. Keep that core strong. Don't fold at the waist. You want a straight line from your knees up through your hips to your shoulders. Time. Next one, alternating arm, straight arm pullover, hands up, ready, draw the core in, go. If you've got the anchor point fixed over a door, just like me, try and bring the core down roughly to your shoulder, arms 90 degrees in front of you. Good stuff, time, front crawl. Turn around. Three, two, one, go. Extension at the front. Reach, get that little push. It's not about push and glide, it's just a push so we can get that rotation of the upper arm. Time, 
So into our last set, which you'll remember was six freestyles. So this time it's just two. Ready, two, one. Time. One more. And then we go back to chest flight and it's once more through. Two, one. You did really well, guys. If you stuck with this all the way to this point, you've done very, very well. One more. Routine, one more run through to go. That's time, stand up, turn it round, chest fly. You can go through all these exercises once more, then we're done. Standing nice and strong. Ready to draw across the chest, off we go. Arms straight, chest out. This is, or at least could be, can be, a really tough session. Time. Rows. Then over rows. In three, two, one. Go. Draw it back. Elbows into the side. Keep the elbows narrow. I feel like doing a turbo session on the bike. You don't have to do as much on these full cords to make it feel like you've done a whole swim session because the resistance is so much higher and you're not really taking much rest. Time, last exercise. This first set, turn it around. We've got those backstroke pulls. Three, two, one, go. So in the front crawl, we shorten the chest from top from the top as we catch the water. In this exercise, we're shortening the chest muscle from underneath, so it does still apply. To front crawl, time, turn it around, front crawl, my band's twisted, ready, go, however, we might also be someone who does all of the strokes, not a triathlete, a proper swimmer, and so you'd be doing backstroke anyway, so you want to do that backstroke strengthening work. Time. Okay, double arm pull throughs, straight arm or with that high elbow catch. Two, one, go. I'm gonna go straight arm again. Quite like that last time. Work that whole range. Get your hands up and high in front of you. Get them up past your hips at the back. Time, stand up, stretch out. We've got the lat pulls this time to the side. Three, two, one, go. Just like before, try and get the backs of the palms touching at the front of the stroke. Bring the hands back, hit your hips. time. Good stuff. Front crawl again. Ready? Three, two, one, go. This is the third session I've done today and I'll be honest, that was probably a mistake. You know, I don't mind training three times but I'll put five, a bit of a bike, a bit of a run. A bit of a pull cord session. Ooh, that's time. And we're turning around for the tricep extensions. Feeling it just a little bit. Ready, off we go. Tricep extensions. Oh, I did two SMT sessions yesterday. That's why my upper body is sore. Good, get that full extension on this tricep. 
exercise time. Lower the hands for a moment. Get ready to push up. Remember, it's the last time we do each of these. Ready? Up and go. Straight arm. Keep the core locked. Nice and strong. Start to push the pace on these a little bit if you've got anything left. Good. Keep strong. Front crawl next. Time. Good stuff. Stand up. Twist round. And we've just got a load of front crawl to finish. Three, two, one, go. So this is our extra one that we've put in between the sets. 15 more seconds of these. Two more 20 seconds of front crawl to finish off. And you are done. So get that work in now. Make this session count. Time. Good. Push the pace, but make sure you keep the quality. Two more. Three, two, one. Go. Keep the rotation, keep the length and the stroke. Breathe with the effort in the arms as you push back. Exhale. Time. One more. And then you're done. Time for a cool down and a bit of a stretch. Three, two, one, go. Last few seconds and that is time. Good stuff everyone. I won't lie, I was feeling quite faint through the last half of that session. Hopefully you found it really useful. Hopefully you feel like the chest and the lats and the triceps have worked really hard. Come back, keep repeating these sessions. We have more sessions on the channel. So try those and make sure that you make the most of this opportunity to do some land-based work. It really is an opportunity. As soon as the pools are open, you're not going to be doing it, let's face it. So do it now. Get strong. Reap the benefits when the pools open or when you next get into the water. Hope you enjoyed the session. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.